Hi, I'm Pastor Vincent. We're living in a broken world where sometimes we feel hopeless and helpless. But with God's Word and His Holy Spirit, we can live a victorious Christian life. May God's Word bless you today. Many people believe that being a Christian means that we only need to attend church on Sundays. It is true that God wants us to worship together as a family and to magnify God together. But being a Christian means so much more than that. Jesus speaks of three fundamental spiritual practices or disciplines in this chapter that assumes that we are doing it every day as his disciples. Three things I've learned from today's passage. The first thing is this, those three spiritual disciplines. Giving to the poor, praying and fastings are the prominent and practices that is important for a victorious Christian life. More importantly, Jesus assumes that we're practicing that. For he said, when you give, when you pray, and when you fast. He did not say that if you give, if you pray, or if you fast. Of course, it's not a prerequisite to be a Christian, but it is a byproduct of our faith in Jesus Christ. These can help us to be transformed, explained, uh, express and experience Jesus himself when we do that. Of course, this is not an exhaustive list. The second thing I've learned is their warnings. We need to take heed that the inherent dangers when we cultivate the image of righteousness before people. Even when we are the light of the world and also the salt of the world and we expect to do good, we must not seek the praise and the accolades of people. We must practice the discipline of worship and service to the service of one, for the audience of one, and not for many people. Otherwise, we can become a hypocrite and lose our reward. The third thing I've learned is our prayer has to be thoughtful and balanced. Prayer is fundamentally a connection and our communion with Jesus and conversation with God. But... Um, we should not expect a formula from God, but God give us a model prayer that we need to follow. For he said, you should pray like this. And the Lord's Prayer is a well-balanced between a close balance with God, and when we call him our Father, and the awe of God when we say that when your kingdom is in heaven. A balance between God's will and our needs, and the balance between grace of our confession and forgiveness of others. My application today is we must practice this discipline every day because we want to be more and more like Jesus. Life is busy and without planning, without a strategy, without putting time on these, we will not doing or practice this discipline because it's not our nature. Our life can be dramatically changed when we follow God's pattern, how to be more like him and we can be changing from glory to glory and give into the image of Jesus every day. My prayer today is, Lord, we love you, and we want to pray that your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us our, day, our, day, our daily bread, forgive us our debts, as we forgive those who are dead against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. If you feel blessed by the word, I would encourage you to subscribe so that you can have the future updates or even share with a friend. I'll see you next week.